Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Merry Christmas. Indeed, 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 indeed. And what a great Christmas gift it would be to finally open our borders to, uh, to Disneyland Dovsk and get as many people into the country as we possibly can to help celebrate in the most Soviet way possible uh, getting cold and uh, and dying. Um, yeah, yikes. A uh, bit too bit too close to the bone there. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of death going around. Um, this this pesky little disease called death um, just happens to be just happens to be going around Turistovsky. It's not great. I, I think that it's probably less. Yeah, it's totally it's actually completely totally fine in um, in Kolovsky ski and I suspect that it's also probably pretty fine in um, in Krudovsky as well Krudnovsky that's that's the one uh, small heating plant oh ah right yeah Deep breaths, potato. Okay, you know what? Don't even worry about that for now. Don't even worry about it. Not even, not even worried, even slightly. How are things doing in Potato Grad? Potato Grad better be, better be the pinnacle of excellence. Temperature in the building is too low. What are you talking about? There should definitely be, yeah, there should definitely be enough, uh, enough hot water to go around and make sure that this, this area is nice and hot. Yeah, this is totally, totally fine. We've, we've actually got, uh, we've actually got enough heat in, in Potato Grad. Okay. So it's just in a couple of places. It's just in a couple of places where there where there happen to be issues. I I mean, look, just in general, we need to sort out. We need to sort out our winter operation. It's 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 woeful. It is frankly woeful uh, that we are continuing to see as many as many people dying as we are. Uh, it's just not good. It's just not good at all. Uh, I think that we're gonna have to try and buy some more people in. We need to. I mean, there is no. There is no way around it. We we need to sort out we need to sort out this situation over here too because people are going to start to atrophy and that is and that is going to be is going to be terrible. It is going to be absolutely terrible. Alternatively, to be honest, we just make sure that we have uh, a better supply of buses around here and then we just buy in a whole bunch of additional people. That's what I think that we're going to do. Uh, the hospital as well needs needs work. Uh, we need to make sure that we have more people more people working in the hospital. Let's just buy out this and hope uh, it's enough. Let's hope it's enough to get us through the winter. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's, uh, yeah, dicey. Very, very dicey indeed. Very, very, very highly, highly dicey. Highly dicey. Are you heading to the heating plant? You're heading to the heating plant indeed. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Uh, I think that there was a couple of great suggestions actually in the comments of the last video. Getting a dedicated bus stop to do, to do bus runs between... To be, uh, between uh, Turistovsky and the heating plant, probably, probably would help with the with the heat issues. Also, just having more buses on this route is is guaranteed to help too. So that's really really nice that we're able to that we're able to sort that out. That's really really good. I, I might actually move the people from this building, given that I did pay to to have them uh, to have them emigrate, and now I don't actually need them. Yeah, we'll actually relocate them all over here. Cool. But we can relocate. We can relocate people in a pinch if we need them to work at the heating plant. So yeah, we should we should definitely have that open as an option. Uh, right, we are very very close to taking out our first loan. Pretty pretty apprehensive about it, but I'm sure we're probably going to end up doing that over the course of this episode today. We've got a good number of people working on the infrastructure here. There is no heating requirement at building sites, which is kind of nice. How close are we to getting the heat exchanger up and running? Not very close. Not very close at all, but that is... That is fine. We're almost done with this road too. We got 31 work days left. I feel like maybe I kind of just want to double down, buy some more... Buy some more houses, and then just continue to expand... Continue to expand Tourist... Um, Touristovsky, so that we can get more people to work in the heating plant, get more people to work uh, pretty much everywhere, actually. Look at this, look at this. It's just... We just have... We're just seeing, like, our, our workers just completely atrophy. It's just no good. It's just no good. It's just no good. Also, the the fact that the four buses arrive in, in pretty quick succession 
is also super unhelpful, but uh, I'm just not going to deal with that for now. We're just we're just going to sort of avoid that. We're going to avoid that in the short term and and hope that that uh, and hope that that ends up fixing itself. Okay, let's let's do what frankly needs to be done. Let's do a little bit of a little bit of movement around here. There we go. Okay, let's move you over here. Move you over here. I wonder, is there perhaps is there perhaps little to no access to the hospital over here? I suspect that the hospital is just super duper busy. The hospital's not actually too busy. Maybe the ambulances are being a little bit overstretched. No, there's actually not any ambulances at all there. Okay, 28 workers can't work due to sickness, unable to visit the hospital. I mean, there shouldn't really be any issues. There shouldn't really be any issues at all. As long as we have this... As long as we have this heat, then uh, then we should be fine. Again, making sure that we have we have an appropriate amount of heat during the winter. It turns out that it's a pretty, pretty crucial, pretty crucial component um, for success. But that's actually okay. You know what? We've needed to... We've needed to buy a little bit of uh, a little bit of additional, a little bit of additional people, but uh, but that's fine. You know we can we can just about make do with that, right? Let's get that let's get that brand new house built. Let's move you to this house. I also probably in the future want to, I guess, not build any of these brand spanking new houses until a little bit later on, because the new houses do require a heating uh, a heating capability, whereas the old houses just don't. Uh, which is which is something to consider. Uh, right, 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 right. Back to houses, back to houses, and let's build. Let's build that. Can we build it any closer? Yeah, sure. All right, let's rock and roll with that. Uh, let's buy in the workers, buy in the people. Bear in mind, we do need to set a little bit of money aside to to fix Krudinovsky. Yeah, that is that is something that we will need to keep in mind. Building temperatures a little bit too low, uh, and we're going to put a little bit of extra strain on our heating capacity, but that's fine in the short term. Let's get some more people in. There we go. Max it out. Get some more people in. Max it out. Wonderful. That takes us down to sixty-three thousand rubles, and uh, it's continuing to decelerate. So that's very very terrifying, but it's okay because today today is the day, or at least. This is the episode where we are going to where we are going to finally open up, and everything is gonna is gonna be better. Uh, yeah, let's let's drop the number of people in the medical university or working in the medical university, should I say? Because we just do not need that many people. We need a couple of professors, but but that's it. Yeah, that's fine. No research available at the moment. Oh yeah, we do actually need to do the engineering at university as well. Probably should have done that as as a. As a first university, but but that's okay. Right, how are how are our flats doing over here? Not too bad. Thirty-two workers unable to visit the hospital. Is that really a problem? Like, do we need a hospital within walking distance? I thought the ambulances were were completely able to to collect everyone. But if people are unable to visit a hospital, then maybe we should think about getting another hospital like down over here. That might be that might be an idea. Yeah, um I don't love the idea of doing this, but if it's going to fix our problems or at least go some way to fixing our uh, our problems, then I guess we'll have to do it. Again, going to put a little bit of extra strain on our infrastructure, but that's fine. Bear in mind this this whole time whilst I've been whilst I've been procrastinating, I say procrastinating, but whilst I've been chatting here on this merry festive day, uh, television station. Can I actually get a small hospital? Maybe a small hospital would be good. Because we, yeah, we can get a clinic, right? Uh, hospital. Small clinic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we have a big hospital in the center of town, or, or to the outskirts of town. And then we can have a small little clinic over here, which is only going to cost us 10,000 rubles, which is very, very nice indeed. Getting very, very close to running out of, uh, to running out of rubles. But that's okay. We'll buy two ambulances. That's that's perfect. We do have a heating connection. The heat is completely adequate. And we should be able to, hopefully, deal with all of the sick people from this prefab flat here. And I will... Oh, look at that. Loads and loads of patients waiting. 
Loads and loads and loads of patients waiting. But that's okay, because we've got a medical university, we can actually train up doctors reasonably easily. Okay, loads and loads of treated patients. Excellent. I think that that makes I think that that makes things just a heck of a lot better. Right. Uh, as I was saying, whilst whilst I'm faffing around, whilst I'm faffing around in uh, in Turistovsky, hopefully everything in Disneyland Ovsk is being built. Certainly, was kind of anticipating a little bit more progress when I returned over here. There should be quite a few people being bussed in. The terminal has finished building. What the heck is that? Also. Uh, a lot of fuel, a lot of fuel we've uh, we've actually ended up importing. Let's add this as a fuel drop-off zone. There we go. Now, that probably puts a little bit of extra strain on our fuel storage uh, situation, but, uh, but it's actually okay. It's actually completely fine. Actually completely fine because everything is going everything is going great. Everything is going great apart from the fact that we have no money um, Which I need to keep reminding myself we we don't need to bring online steel production or anything like that All that we need to do all that we need to do is just open Disneyland of up That's that's quite simply that's quite simply what we need to do and That will be happening that will absolutely categorically be happening uh, You are out of fuel and that's probably because this building is without a power supply uh, also, is this building on the... No, it's not on the fuel delivery network route. So let's get it added to there. Excellent. Disneyland of Cargo Harbor. Wonderful. 80%. Great. Where's the nearest... Where's the nearest power cable? Does this area actually have power? Wow, this area doesn't actually have power. So we need to get a power supply over here. Pretty... Pretty darn quick. Um, I'm going to drop that to zero. Because I don't think that we need it. I'm assuming, maybe a bold assumption to make, yeah, that our coal power plant is able to output exactly enough power. Great. So let's just let's just disregard disregard that real quick, uh, and then we need to see. Then we need to see if we can get a power transformer. It's going to be a modded power transformer. I am determined, by the way. I am absolutely categorically determined. Uh, let's get that built. I will build the gravel road. How much is this going to cost me to build? 4,000 rubles. Um, it might actually be possible for us to build this manually. Yeah, I'll build it manually. I'll build it manually. That's fine. Cool. Increase the number of workers. Increase the number of workers. Increase the number of workers. And increase the number of workers. Cool. So we are shockingly close to just getting absolutely everything wrapped up over here. I mean, we're not far off. We are literally, we're literally, what, like three buildings away? Three buildings away from a pretty perfect, pretty perfect setup. We've also managed to build the heating pipes as well at the same time, uh, which is questionable because I kind of wasn't anticipating the heating pipes being built, but it's not a problem per se. We just need to make sure that there is a connectability element over here. There is indeed. We'll zone that for construction too. Uh, we're still working on this road and it is taking a disappointingly long period of time to get that built. There we go. That's fine. Warehouse is looking okay too. Five workers. Where are all of our workers going? Where are all of our workers going? I thought we had hundreds of workers here. 30 workers without a job and a couple of people are unable to visit the hospital. Now, that can probably be rectified if only we were to link up a, a path along the back here. Yeah. Uh, there is a way, there is a way that we can make this work. Okay, come on. Disneyland Ovsk. Disneyland Ovsk. Let's freaking go. Excellent. And that connects up over there. Brilliant. Okay, 500 rubles to ensure that we have uh, healthcare accessibility for everyone. Of course, means that they can walk there. Clinics are much more important now. Clinics are much more important now. I mean, big hospitals, sure, they still have their benefit. But, like, you know, getting clinics, very, very important indeed. Students in the auditorium, that's, that's pretty important too. City hall slash accounting. Yeah, we need to keep an eye on... We need to keep an eye on this figure. This figure and this figure here. So 161 
in highly educated uh, in highly educated people terms, that's fine. Total number of all connected buildings. I think that we can survive. I think that we can survive with this with this pretty high level. We're getting a good number of people. We're getting a really, really good number of people actually getting to the bus stop, which is very, very important indeed. Some people are not able to participate in any sport. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. There's a gym literally right here. Uh, and that gym is, is ready to go. Honestly, just end this gosh forsaken season already. So that we can open Disney Landovsk and uh, and get up and running. We need to build a couple... In fact, no, I think we should be fine. I was going to say we need to build a couple of other... Um, a couple of other parking spots. But we've got three large airplane parking uh, spaces over here. Which should be an ample number of, uh, of slots to buy to buy and deal with uh, with aircraft. Yeah, we just we just need to we just need to wait for Disneyland of to, to get up and running. We're probably gonna want to zone a few electric substations around town. How much do these cost? One thousand rubles? I mean I may only have twenty uh, twenty nine thousand rubles left. But I'm I'm pretty confident that we're gonna have enough to to build three of these. Excellent, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, twenty four thousand rubles and counting. We're close. We're close to going to going broke, but we're not quite there. Oh, there is actually one more building that I need to build over here, which I was planning to build last episode, but then uh, but then everyone kind of got sick and died. Um. Which was a little bit of a setback, uh, I'll say. Uh, I need to get the distribution set up. Uh, I need to get the distribution office set up over here. We're going to get a medium distribution office. We're going to build it right over yonder. We're going to build the road ourselves, even though it's going to cost us a little bit of money. And that's going to allow us to get some construction offices allocated over here. This distribution office, by the way, hopefully should distribute all of the goods to this area for, like, food and whatnot. Uh, speaking of, we need to make sure that that is connected. Good stuff. Need to make sure that there is a connection to all of the hotels so that we've got the opportunity to deliver food to them. I'm going to say, let's let's take these two hotels offline for now, right? We'll get those two hotels offline for now and we'll keep these two we'll keep these two on, but we'll take that down to 25 20 workers, 20 workers a piece. Yeah, 20 workers a piece. That's completely fine. Okay, so now we just need... Now we just need power for this boat. We need power for this boat. Also, the fact that this is... This is connected up, and yet fuel trucks haven't... Oh, they've not been connected up to the new one. Aha, I see, I see what the issue is. Wait, what? Why is that... Uh... Is it because it's not... Is it because it's not, uh... Is it because it's not powered and therefore they can't unload there? There's definitely no access issues, not as far as I can see. The road is built here. Very, very strange indeed. Very, very, very strange indeed. Alright, build that road. I know that I just, uh... I just replaced a couple of people that were... That we're just coming on the bus, but that's fine. Okay, this bridge is really, really good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this bridge. How how long to build the the transformer? Building the transformer would be a, a really, really good step in the right direction. We need a little bit of extra steel, but that's that's no biggie. We've got the electronics on site. Uh, it's just a case of getting. It's just a case of getting the people moved across here. The 50 meter parking, we don't care about that at all. It's not not a priority, but I guess it'll it'll happen. What about um what about a hospital over here? Do we need a hospital over here? Probably, actually. Sincerely probably. Sincerely probably. We also may need to sort of manipulate the pads around this this area just a little bit because there may not be there may not be enough walking ability. Okay, we're gonna get the Republic Theater done today. I mean, I'm really running out of excuses as to why we can't uh, open up Disneylandovsk and just start making some Omega money. But I'm telling you, we we need to we need to at least get this warehouse done. We need to at least get this warehouse done because otherwise we're not gonna be able to have any uh, any food or any meat or anything like that. 
Uh, same with the heating plant. How much is the heating plant going to cost us? $62,000. Uh, 62,000 rubles even. That's a lot of money. Republic Theater is a go. Republic Theater is a go. 171 workers at the site tower. Holy cow, there's actually progress happening. Actually, actually, actually progress happening. Uh, the Transformer as well, we've actually maxed out the number of people that we have working on the Transformer site. So that's really, really good. And still we have an abundance of workers at the bus platform, which presumably means that the heating plant is being well served with workers, which is excellent. Very, very good indeed. Uh, let's increase the number of people that can work at the medical university. Not a big deal at all. Uh, yep, the hospital is looking good. The population in... The population in Turistovsky seems to have stabilized a little bit. A couple of people without a job, but apart from that, nothing... Nothing else seems to be going too badly wrong. There is just a massive abundance of people. Right, I've decided that I officially hate winter, even more in the game than I do in reality. I'm not a big fan of winter, uh, IRL. I think that it's just a miserable cold month. I mean, you know, the, the, the joy of seeing snow uh, is, is often offset by the fact that you have to walk in the snow. Um, because in order to get anywhere, you have to walk, you know, that's that's just how it is. And of course, if you're walking on, on icy, snowy ground, then, you know, you're probably having a bad time because you need to waddle and make your back hurt and all of these, all of these miserable things. And if you slip, then, you know, you can do yourself serious damage. But uh, but now I just sound like a like a grandpa complaining about the complaining about the weather. I, I don't know uh, why. Why, 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 why are we not working on the view cafe slash bar? feel like that should be something that we're working on. Uh, look, as soon as the heating plants and, and the heating exchanger get uh, get completely finished, then then we'll be good. But we're just not we're just not good quite yet. Okay, 430 rubles to get this finished off. Let's let's just pay for it. Let's just pay for it. There's no power supply. There's no power supply over here, but that's because we're just waiting for the terminal. Oh, the transformer is built. Okay, that was remarkably quick. In fact. Uh, we do need to get a transformer over here. I'm going to auto-build this transformer. Let's build it over yonder. Good stuff. And then we'll get a power cable. There's a building on fire, I know. I am so low on cash. I am so low on cash. We're going to do our first little bridging loan to get us, uh, to get us across here. Uh, there's a fire in Potato Grad. I think the fire brigade... Oh, no, they don't exist anymore. No, they, they should exist. They should absolutely exist. Also, winter is thawing. Winter is thawing. We have... We have officially got... A nice... A nice world again. Seven degrees Celsius. Oh, my goodness. It feels so good. Uh... Also... Incredible misplay that I've made here. Um, the misplay is... Not connecting the... Not con <laughs> not connecting not connecting the fire engine to the road network. Uh, not connecting the fire the fire station to the road network. That is incredible, uh, potato. That is absolutely incredible. Even for you, that is that is a new level. That is a new level of of incredibleness. Please don't tell me that another kindergarten is going to burn down. Okay, there we go. Dispatch some firefighters. This also is not connected to the road network. Aha. Aha. One may say that, that is somewhat of a problem. Building is in the way. Yes, but maybe... Maybe it could not be in the way. Oh, I don't like the footprint of this church here. I thought that fire brigades could uh, could go up paths, but apparently apparently they can't. At least not in this case. It's there's a route here. There's a route here. It's it's close to happening. It's close to happening. Please please don't let another kindergarten burn down. Not not today. Not on my watch. Okay. So well, yeah. What about like this? What about, like, this route over here? Hmm. The connection... 
along the back. The curvature is is not very generous here, but like there, some other infrastructures in the way. What other infrastructures in the way though? Like I, I I feel like we have an angle here, right? Alternatively, we try just building forward, and hope that we can get a right angle turn. Hope that we can get a right angle turn here. I really sincerely thought that uh, the firefighters could get up pathways. I guess it's not the case if they've already got like a parking. If they've already if they've got parking lots, I think that I think that there was something about that actually. So if a building has a parking lot, then firefighters will not be able to will not be able to get up without a road, without an access road. Um, are we just gonna condemn this this kindergarten? Is this gonna be the second kindergarten in as many episodes that I've just condemned? Uh, firstly, because of the failings of the of the firefighters, and secondly, because of my failings of infrastructure building and and access. I I yeah I uh, yeah. Mm. Well, maybe we just hope that the firefighters have a change of heart and maybe decide to access the kindergarten via. Via the pathway instead? I, I really have no idea what what we what we expect to hope for there. There is just there's just no way around this is it's it's millimeters as well. Like that's what we're talking about here. It's very, very, very close to actually just full on working. Which is what it infuriates me all the more. Building is definitely in the way there. I, I get it. 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 Really, I, I really don't want to give up on this, this kindergarten here. It's so close. It's so freaking close. There's no way to like uh, manipulate this around a little bit. What about deleting this building? We move people around a little bit, maybe? Full, 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 full. Uh, fine. You can be exiled to another town. Then demolish this. Maybe that'll give us access. I uh, most probably will be just deleting that for the sake of deleting it. Not to mention the fact that the firefighters uh, have been, you know, delayed severely. But maybe that's that's all the access that we need. Uh, very much doubt, though. Uh, and that doesn't really help us at all. I mean, look, at the end of the day, if, if this doesn't end up working, then we still have... We still have a route to connect up. Or we still have a route to connect up the kindergarten next time, don't we? That's important. That's important. You know, we're, we're already thinking about the replacement kindergarten. Uh, Alright, the firefighters are, are just clearly uh, content on, on sitting back and watching. Uh, which is very depressing, but, uh, but it's life. Okay, let's not worry about it anymore. Let's take out our first bridging loan, because uh, whilst I was faffing around with that, apparently we've hit absolutely zero. Let's pump up the duration. Let's pump up the money, and let's start... Crying ourselves to sleep over the amount of debt that we're in. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, right. The acceleration of uh, of cash downwards is initially rather rather fast, uh, but I'm sure that that will be rectified very very shortly. Uh, we just need to get the heat exchanger done. We need to do the final last connections around town. We're gonna do some of these. Uh, we'll go out this way. Do that. Wonderful. That's already been connected up. We've got two more. Taxiway. What? Taxiway or runway. Okay. Well, there we go. That's that's that connected. 
I, I don't think that I... Yeah, I can't bridge around there. So we're going to have to do... Oh, I don't love this. I don't love this at all. Uh, fine. I like how you're not allowed to build just right next to the taxiway. It's kind of cool. Right. Okay, that's a absolutely horrific... An absolutely horrific state. Yeah, yeah, we knew this would happen. Okay, again, comrades, let's build a memorial. Let's cover it up and let's let's build it better this time. Let's build it better. Let's build it with an actual road connection. Okay, first things first. Replace... Replace the kindergarten, right? Replace the kindergarten. This is such a horrific waste of space, isn't it? Right, replace that in there. Wonderful. We'll just auto-build that. And then we'll stick down a big old memorial. As we all know that a memorial will fix absolutely everything. And that's nothing to worry about. Okay. Good stuff. We we fixed it. It's like nothing ever happened. It's like nothing ever freaking happened. Uh, okay, so before we open Disneyland Ovsk, we need to we need to go back and we need to fix Krudinovsky. Uh the way that we fix that is primarily just by getting uh, a good number of additional good number of additional people to work here uh it's still a little bit cold but that's fine actually going to take this opportunity to perhaps demolish a couple of houses it's not really terrible when everyone dies i mean it's terrible when everyone dies obviously i i understand i understand the downside we have to spend a, a significant amount of money uh, or time and effort relocating people or, or buying people in or whatever but at the end of the day it does give us it does give us free reign to just sort of redesign the city however we'd like and uh, I kind of like that I kind of like that a lot so let's bump that up to there let's get a single big building is this going to be within heat range it better be within heat range otherwise we're going to have a bad time right I've already blown through it's definitely within heat range nice uh, we've already blown through a significant chunk of change. How on earth do we not have... Oh, I see. I see. So here's the problem, folks. Here's the problem. Is that we were only drawing from everyone around here, and apparently we couldn't find enough workers to work in the heat plant. Which is, I mean, absolutely abysmal, really. About as terrible as terrible gets. So, yeah. Do we actually have a school here? Yeah, we do have a school. Temperature in building is too low. It's a considerable problem. It's a considerable problem. Okay, here's what we do to rectify this. We demolish that. Demolish that. Demolish that. Demolish that. And demolish that. Uh, I would point out that there was a really, really great suggestion in the comments about providing people who work at the heating plant with their own bespoke luxury private automobiles. However, that being said... Uh, I'm not exactly sure that I want to go down the road of private automobiles quite yet, given, of course, that it is a, uh, it is capitalist propaganda in the first place. Let's stick, I actually want a better flat. I want a flat that has got an access route out the back. Yeah, I think maybe we just go for these. I could go for the bigger, the bigger ones, but I actually don't think that we want to, I don't think that we want to have too many people here. This is actually the perfect, the perfect size flat. 127 workers. It's not going to cost too much to get it up online. Plus, it means that there can be access through the front and the back for, uh, for just commuting and getting around town. It's actually really important. That building can be demolished. And that still means that I believe that these people should be able to access the school. Yeah, one children can't go to school because there's no school. And then there's also a kindergarten issue. Kindergarten is just, like, shh ever so slightly out of range. If I get that up and running, that should be fine. Get that up and running, that should also be fine. Right? School is now within range. Kindergarten is now within range. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And of course, most importantly, the heating plant is is uh, is within range. So that's, that's just brilliant. That is just incredible. And hopefully we should be able to get everyone back to, to full health uh, very, very shortly indeed. If we do have any healthcare... Uh, access issues could very well come from could very well come from this flat over here actually yeah there's that's ah, so close it's fine 
we can we can experiment with this. We can we can see what the heck happens. Anyway, that gives us that gives us access to the to the additional oil that we're that we're kind of after. We just want as much of it as we possibly can because we're going to need to start selling it soon. And I probably want to start selling it to um to the Americans, to the to the western to the western peeps. It's very important. Also, buildings without power supply. Yes, uh, I did kind of neglect to actually connect up the high voltage wires over here. Uh, not a problem whatsoever. We can very easily do it. We've got plenty of capacity in these wires here. It is going to cost us a little bit. But, I mean, it'll cost us a couple of thousand rubles. How have I already banged through 400,000 of my of my borrowed rubles? I, I don't know. I, I really don't. Uh, why is the view cafe slash bar not buildable? Suspend construction and then re-enable construction, perhaps? Is there... There is a there is road access that hasn't been connected. That may very well be the, the crux of the matter, uh, to be to be brutally honest with you. Let's tighten this curve. Let's tighten this curve. Sure, that is an absolutely atrocious bit of bit of building, but uh, but hey ho. Continue construction, but we'll continue it on our own terms. Because getting that single last building up and running is uh, is not the end of the world. Okay, well, distribution office. Distribution office is the last significant construction. Out with, of course, the heating plant, which, of course, does not have road access. So, of course, there's a problem there. Uh, it means that the trucks are not able to not able to access the site. So, that's a bit of a bummer. However, we will be opening in March. We're going to be opening in March, which means that we, we've got, you know, we've got months. We've got months to fix this, to fix this issue, right? Building closed due to bad weather. Worrying about the beach right now, not a problem. Not a problem for me in the slightest. Not a problem for me in the slightest. Also, our boat has set sail back up to Potato Grad to get more food. Making sure that we have enough food for opening day is, is very, very important indeed. Do we have a full warehouse of food here? Not quite. We've got a lot of food. We've got a lot of meats. We're ready. We're ready to, we're ready to receive the goods, I think. Uh, also, speaking of receiving the goods, we are ready to start... We are ready to start the sewing operation. Looks like it is January slash February that we're that we're able to properly start here. Uh, so that's great news. I wonder if there's just like a limit of time. Like I wonder, I wonder if we're not going to be able to sew after a certain point. I do have four tractors, so I can simultaneously plow four fields. But given that they are really really large fields, we might not be able to get might not be able to get them all done. We may need to invest in another farm. If that's the case, uh, then that's the case. You know, we're, we're going to be able to slot another farm in here. We can slot another farm in here. We can slot another farm in here. There's there's plenty of places that we can slot additional farms in. It's uh, it's not a big deal at all. A hundred citizens are unable to get food. Uh, how did that happen? How did that happen? Have I set up a... F have I not set up food? What? Did I not set up food over here? Surely I must have set up food. Really? I didn't set up food? How have people only started complaining about food now? I didn't miss that one, did I? I did miss that one. It was a small shopping center. It wasn't a kindergarten. Oh no, it's a disaster. It's The cover-up has failed. <laughs> the cover-up has failed, comrade. It's a, it's a categoric disaster. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? We've we've built the wrong monument. We built the wrong monument. Uh, gosh darn it! We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to build uh, another precariously perched shopping center. Uh, we may even have to demolish the last monument that we built in order to ensure that we have road access over here. That 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 is. Oh boy, that's a misplay. That that's a straight up big old misplay. But actually, you know what? This is this is a fine place for a shopping center. This is a fine place for a shopping center, comrade. It's it's not a big deal whatsoever. There we go. Lots of shoppers, lots of sellers. Wonderful. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Loads of people are unable to get food, but, you know, that'll be rectified in time, no doubt. Oh, that was, that was close. Uh, crisis narrowly, narrowly, narrowly averted there. Uh, very, very close indeed. Also, have we got another... We've got another traffic jam. We've got another traffic jam here, and I don't understand how consistently... Uh, trucks are able to do this like it's it's not difficult to avoid It's not difficult to avoid running out of fuel on the very short journey to the border 
Like, come on. It's it's not difficult here. It's not difficult. Let's start these three uh, failed trucks off again. Another one has run out. And the one behind it is, is just about to run out too. How? 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 I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Nope. I just don't. I just don't. Okay, well, the sewing is still going fine, so that's... I can... I can smell a problem. I can smell a problem. There is... Shenanigans afoot. Okay, how many of these trucks are gonna fail on their way back, uh, on their way back to, to Potato Grad? I reckon at least another two, right? There's gotta be at least another two. This convoy ain't long for the world. Surely not. Surely not. I refuse to believe such a thing occurring. Are we gonna do it? Are we actually gonna do it? Oh, we might. It's very exciting. That's very exciting indeed. Alright, the plowing's going good. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, well... Oh, no, we're gonna have fuel failure on one of them. But apparently, I tell you what, I tell you what, it's probably because they've entered the range. It's probably because they've entered the range of the, uh, the petrol station, the gas station there. So that therefore means that it's completely, it's completely fixable. Good stuff, good stuff, comrade. That's, that's great. Let's restart those trucks. Get them started. They all, all the trucks visit the gas station. And then we're able to fill up the grain silo. And we should be able to continue to export food there. What the heck is happening here? Oh yeah, storage percent needs to be bumped up to 90% over there. In fact, it really should be as close to 100 as we possibly can. So that we're not wasting any, uh, any, any food preparation potential or, or any of that nonsense. But that's grand. Our boat is still sailing back. I probably want to buy another boat. Just so that we can have a delivery guaranteed i guess sure we'll buy a second boat we'll buy a second boat and we'll set it off right now i think that that's i think that that's unironically a good thing to do we're gonna need more boats in time anyway so this is just a you know i guess it's a it's an irresponsible purchase it's an irresponsible purchase from the perspective of you know, we are a little bit in debt at the moment, but it's a, it's a forward-thinking purchase and it's a responsible purchase from the perspective of we're gonna need more boats to supply to Rostovsky anyway. This is a joke. This is an absolute joke. This is an absolute joke. Uh... I... What... What do you want from me? I, I guess I just need to get, like, rural fuel stations. I kinda hate this concept, like, if you know that there's not going to be a fuel station on your route, why would you not just fill up beforehand, right? I hate it. I, I actually hate this. I actually hate dealing with this. I actually hate dealing with this. It's very annoying. It's very annoying. Uh, but thankfully, I have the ability to very quickly just bash down an electric substation over here. Get that built. Medium voltage wire. Can we not use hand pumps? I reckon like a hand pump fuel station would be would be a pretty cool addition to the to the game, right? Sure, maybe it takes a little bit longer to, to fill up, but uh means that we don't have to string these daft cables all the way around. Right, so if that Yeah, so that now fixes the problem. We're able to have these trucks both fill up at the at the rural station. Supposedly you're going to run out soon, but you'll probably be fine. Okay. So that's at least a step in the right direction there, I feel. That's very, very good indeed. Okay. Next thing. Next thing, next thing, next thing is a bus service. And it is a bus service. A pretty consistent bus service, actually. A pretty consistent bus service between the bus stop in Turistovsky and the bus stop over in Disneylandovsk. So let's see if we can buy a couple of buses. Luxury buses? Uh, maybe actually luxury buses would be pretty good. Six luxury buses? Let's roll with six luxury buses for now. If we need more, we can, we can get them. We're gonna say here. Not tourists. Not tourists, right? We don't want tourists. Right over here. 
right over to here. Okay, I think I think that's I think that's what we're after. I think that's what we're we're absolutely after. And we get to use the luxury bus that we just had lying around here as well. Very nice indeed. Okay, um, I think I think this is it. So I think that by doing that, by getting workers to work in the hotel, we should, we should, don't quote me on this, we should be able to open up our, um, we should be able to open up our, our Disneyland Dovsk to tourists just walking in off the border here. So there's just five tourists that are waiting. And they're waiting at the border. They're waiting for... They're waiting... They're waiting for their opportunity to come and spend some time in the, the greatest city in the world. With the exception of all of the others. <laughs> um, so there you go. Okay. Uh, one thing that I might rush to do is I might rush to complete the Disneyland of medium distribution office. This is a pretty crucial bit of infrastructure to ensure that we have the capability to move alcohol and food around. Um, yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that, that's fine. Uh, also, we've run out of dollars. We're going to do something that I don't usually do, and that's take out a dollar loan as well. I'm not going to take out a massive dollar loan, though. So let's... Let's drop it down to, like, 400,000 rubles. Uh, we'll drop that down to a year. That's, I mean, that's a pretty aggressive repayment schedule, but the reason that I'm actually completely okay with that is because I'm hopefully going to see if I can try and make a little bit of money from American tourists as well. And the way that we are going to do that is actually by buying a couple more buses here. Now, I don't think that it really matters what type of bus we get for this operation. It would probably be a good idea... It would probably be a good idea if it was a luxury bus as well. Let's get two of them. Let's get two of them. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have... There we go. We're going to pick up only tourists. Right? Only tourists. And we're going to say right over there. And this is going to allow us, hopefully, to bring in some Western tourists. We'll get ready to launch that in a second. Uh, but there's also there's also here as well. There's 14 tourists waiting over there. There's 11 tourists waiting over here. We want to basically capitalize, right? We want to we want to basically capitalize on them um, on every single tourist. Uh, it's just that simple. If there are people around, we we want their money. Uh, also, we can start running we can start running flights now. Do we want to do that? Do we want to legitimately start running flights right now? I actually feel like maybe that's a terrific idea. And a surefire way to get more people into the country? I think that it is, you know? I think that it is. We might just finish up with the medium distribution office construction before our members of staff start arriving. Here they come, by the way. These are the first... No, these are the first people that are going to populate the, the hotels, I very much hope. There we go. And that in turn is going to cause people to start war... Yep, there we go. Look at that. That You are the first person can't click on you. I don't know if I can click on you at all. But these two people right here are the first are the first people that are hopefully going to come into the country and stay at a hotel. They're going to stay at this hotel. Look at that. Accommodated tourists too. Wonderful. So expected level is zero at the moment, but that's okay because we are very, very shortly going to hopefully start providing a, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of facilities for all of our tourists. I do indeed believe that this bus platform should be able to cater for the vast majority of buildings here. There are a couple down this street which are not within range, and that can be rectified mostly with the connection of a couple of pads here. Let's build that. Will that make a difference? Makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. Absolutely none. Uh, okay, well, you know what we need to do? We actually straight up need to... We need to either build footpads or, more probably, we need to build a nice advanced street with street lights right down the center of this road. This is going to cost me a little bit of money, but I, I actually straight up... I actually straight up think this is very, very worthwhile if it means that access to the entirety of Disneyland Ovsk is going to basically be guaranteed. Right, so we'll do that, and then we'll get a path connection right over here to the zoo. Very, very important. 
And I think that should be fine. Right, so let's check on access yet again. Access is now guaranteed to every single tourist structure as far as I can see. I don't think that there's anything. I don't think that there's anything that, first of all, this hotel won't be able to access. That's pretty crucial. Also, this hotel, suspect access is going to be guaranteed to everywhere as well. Ah, with the exception of this place. With the exception of this place. Now, this place is what? The monument of... Palace of Communism, that's it. Uh, so we'll get that path connected up there, and that should theoretically mean... Yep, so that's the two the two front hotels. Now, it's just these two front hotels that we're actually running at the moment. you got to remember, that's all that we're running. Average trip rating is 2.8. That is exceptionally good. That is exceptionally good, and that is only going to continue to improve as we get a couple of additional staff into all of these, uh, into all of these places. Now, uh, we will have to check out our revenue stats as soon as we start to make a little bit of money. Uh, I don't expect that we're going to make a little bit of money for uh, for a little while. But you know what? We could certainly accelerate the rate at which we are making money. Hopefully, by uh, by grabbing these two buses over here and getting them online so that we can start transporting tourists from the western border right the way across. That's great. Uh, we should also think about doing some flights. We should also think about doing some flights. This is This is pretty great. This is pretty, pretty, pretty great. How many planes do I want to have? What size of planes do I want to have? I want passenger slash cargo. I can buy pretty much any plane. I mean, we're going to end up spending a heck of a lot of money here. Twelve passengers? Hmm. Why don't I start small? Start small. Start small. So three very, very cheap passenger aircraft. Yeah, I mean, what did they what did they cost? Like 14 grand a pop? Yeah, basically nothing. So the first stop is going to be here. First stop is going to be here. We want to make sure that we only allow... We only allow tourists. So this is only tourists here, which is, which is great. Uh, we don't want to change the vehicle type to cargo. We just want tourists. And then we want to go beyond Soviet borders. And then we, again, want to only pick up tourists. I don't think you can pick up any other type of passenger, uh, actually, beyond the borders. But but there you go. Uh, we'll copy the schedule to both of these two planes. And we'll straight up just dispatch. First stop is unreachable from the current vehicle position. Uh, really? Airport doesn't have any connection with the control tower. Oh, yeah, that's actually super important. That's actually super duper duper important. We do not have a aircraft control tower which is which is very important uh, but thankfully it's pretty easy to rectify and we just need to slap that down there like so I'm actually gonna auto build that yep it's gonna be very 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 cheap eighteen thousand dollars or eighteen thousand rubles even it's not actually very cheap but it's fine okay and what we need what we need is a couple of workers in this control tower, which really means we need more people from Turistovsky to be trained to operate uh, control towers, which I suspect is probably a little bit more challenging. One tourist was not able to participate in any sport. Uh, yeah, so here's, here's the problem, is that we're not actually getting enough workers into town. We need more people coming into town, and some of the people that are in town at the moment just ain't going where they, where they need to be going. So I think this is the moment where we just double down and try and get and try and get more people in Turistovsky. Right? Ten workers are without a job. I know the ironic thing is, is that, you know, we theoretically have loads of people without a job, and yet and yet here we are. Fine. Fine. That's looking good. Five workers here. Let's ditch this house. If there's any sort of spare real estate, any spare zones, we can immediately reallocate them to uh, to housing instead. Housing for hundreds of new comrades. I should have made a bigger deal about the fact that we've now officially opened up Disneylandovsk, but I, I guess we can, we can all blow a collective festive party popper to celebrate the fact that it has actually been done. Uh, at long last, comrade, it, it has been accomplished. It only took it only took a heck of a long time, but we did it. We got there in the end. Hooray! Hooray, hooray, hooray. Now, we're just 
we're just waiting to see if we actually have a <laughs> have a hope and heck of uh, of actually making a little bit of money. Because believe it or not, this may be workers and resources Soviet Republic, but uh, but uh, this game is not immune to the reality of having to of having to sell goods and services in order to turn a little bit of a profit in order to literally in some cases feed the uh, feed your population. So very very important that we we continue to try and make money. I'm just seeing if I can squeeze an extra house in here. I think we can, right? I think we can. I think we can. If we ditch this house, we definitely can. Yeah, we do need to ensure that we still have a, a connection over here, but, uh, but that should be fine. Okay, all right. Apparently, I'm just uh, incapable of placing this this building. Right. Okay, that sucks. Uh, take up some more road. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Does that give us path access out the side here? Kind of need path access here. Uh, yeah, we really should get path access there. It is it is pretty imperative actually that we have that we have some form of access across here. I think that should allow a connection. He said famous last words. Nope. Okay. Too sharp of a turn. I really disagree strongly that that is too sharp of a turn video game, but uh there you go. Okay, all right. If we have to end up doing something like that, then we have to end up doing something like that. It's the reality of the situation, I guess. There we go, and... Oh, come on. It, it was right there. It, it was right there. Right. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Hopefully that doesn't crash the game. I have strong hopes that it won't. Either way, this should now be easy to connect up. Oh, don't jinx it, potato. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Oh, I've said it now, haven't I? Oh, I've said it now. Oh, I've said it now. Oh, it's a terrific... It's a terrific, terrific mess. Is there any... Is there any hope in heck that we actually make this connection happen? I was... Positive. I was positive that this was possible. Alright, okay, again, here we go, just deleting more freaking buildings, I guess. I mean, it's it's no big deal, given that we've got plenty of building space spare. Uh yep, we'll wait for that house to get demolished, and then we'll move in. I would really just like to build this house now. Okay. All right. This is this is cursed. This is this is cursed. This is cursed. The, the, I I have nothing more to say. This is cursed. I feel like there is ample space here, and I'm just not able to pull it off. Okay. More houses. More houses. Destroy more stuff. Destroy more stuff. Let's do it. There we go. Perfect. First time. Wonderful. So, is there a connection on the pathway here? There absolutely is. We'll put that down. We'll get the pathway around the back set up. So my whole desire to, like, build over here was primarily because I know that if I build it in the center of town, uh, the the video game will be able to send all of my little minions to all of the places that they need to go to. We may have some issues with kindergarten, but we've got a big kindergarten over here. Do we have a big school? We don't have a big school yet, but we could build we could build a new school. Could build a big school, and we very well may do that. Anyway, look at that. A huge number of workers, a huge number of workers waiting at the bus platform. So that's a really, really great excuse. Yeah, look at this. Two, two tourists unable to get food, unable to visit church spirituality, uh, sport, and a hospital. Okay, so turns out tourists do actually need, uh, need a hospital. What is their expected rating? Average trip rating is 2.13 at the moment. That's, that's pretty great. We have a control tower up and running. So you know what? Let's send off our planes before... Before our workers abandon the, uh... Uh, what? 
Runway or taxiway is engaged by another vehicle. Yeah, don't don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Not a big deal whatsoever. We're probably gonna hit up these two stops over here. And once that is done, we should be we should be grand. I'm gonna set up one additional load of buses. In fact, no, tell a lie. I'm gonna do it with two additional loads of buses. So these buses that we have that are currently commuting between Turistovsky bus platform and Disney Landovsk uh, bus platform, we're basically just gonna triple the number that we have. We have 200 workers that are waiting to be taken to Disney Landovsk, and that's enough to justify like a significant amount of a significant amount of additional buses on that route. So let's get that set up pretty much as quickly as we possibly can. Distribution office is ready to rock and roll too. Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's roll with a couple of these. And this is basically going to go between here. We're going to say load. And we're going to go here, here. What do we need here? Restaurant. Yep. Restaurant needs deliveries of food, alcohol, and meats. Uh, this airport does not. I will add these two, but do I want to add them now? I don't think I want to add them now. Yeah, okay. Alright, and then we're also going to need some refrigeration trucks too. One, two, three, four. And, I mean, that should be pretty much the same. If percentage is below 90, take the goods that need to be taken over there. Wonderful. Okay, so that distribution office we should see immediately hop into action. Very, very happy with that there. That's looking really, really good. The heating plant is coming along nicely too. I suspect we've got, as a way to say, loads of workers working at the heating plant. But actually, it's because we just haven't uh, upped the number of workers that we can have. Our planes have all taken off. We're going to get more planes in the future. This is a milestone here. Global market reports. The price of coal ore on the global markets is going down. Experts believe that this change may take up to 20 days and prices should return to normal. Excellent. That's great news. Maybe we want to buy in some coal. I guess that's the, the first global event that we've seen. Holy cool. Uh, holy cow, that's very cool. Alrighty. We have our first aircraft. That's right. Is this gonna be is this gonna be a game changer for us? Is this gonna bring in a whole bunch of additional tourists? I have no idea whatsoever. I will say it does look like my rubles are falling slightly slower than perhaps they otherwise would be, which is quite great. Oh, there we go. The aircraft is flying off into the distance. How many tourists are gonna come back on this aircraft? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We're following the vehicle. We're ready to see exactly what happens here. More and more aircraft are flying off into the into the great unknown. How long does it take the aircraft to come back? I don't know, but I don't want to. I don't want to wait to find out. I just want to. I just want to make sure that everything is going down appropriately over here. Okay, we got a, a couple of accommodated uh, tourists over here. We do need to get a hospital down. We do need to get perhaps uh, a gymnasium down as well. I know that we've got this indoor pool, but it would be, it would be good if we had uh, if we could if we had some options for our tourists. So let's get the modded clinic down we'll get the hospital down right over here if we can I suspect that's just going to be too small of a location i mean it's not necessarily a problem we can always slot it in somewhere over here yeah behind the behind the hotels is a is a completely valid place but maybe actually out here is a little bit better and then we just get a footpath connection which I'm sure will be absolutely fine. There we go. And that should be grand, actually. Yeah, that should be completely, completely okay. Access is totally fine. Totally fine to all four, all four buildings. And, of course, the bus stop where we're going to import our doctors, which is great. We will buy a couple of ambulances. Two ambulances. Excellent. And things are looking good. Have we got, have we got an aircraft? No, that aircraft is just flying, is flying off. We're still waiting for our aircraft to land. Yeah, you're heading off to the, to the borders. And then we're going to hopefully see a couple of aircraft come back. I, I don't know how many aircraft we're going to have, but, um, but I'm very, very excited to see what the heck happens. Uh, right. Can I have a little look at the price of coal, please? I am very, very curious to see what the price of coal ore actually is. 
What day is it today? It's the 5th of April. Last month, coal prices... Buying prices decreased. Seems to have gone down... Like, literally none at all. Oh, actually, no, tell a complete lie. It does seem to have dropped a little bit. Is that really great for me? I don't think that it is. Let's check out our tourism stats whilst we're here as well. Okay, Soviet tourists. Tourists intended to enter the Republic, 1,538. Tourists entered the Republic, 12. Okay, okay. All right, 12 tourists this entire year have entered the Republic. One tourist has died. Yikes. Two tourists have returned. Not bad, but a third, a third, a third fatality rate is, is pretty terrible. We've actually had more Western tourists than we have had anyone else. And I suspect that that's probably because we just, uh, we just haven't had those, those Western tourists delivered yet. I suspect that they may still be en route somewhere. Yeah. Either way, it, it doesn't particularly matter. Are we okay? Sport. Oh yeah, sport and, uh, and hospital. That's, that's pretty crucial. Temperature and building is too low. Is it? Really? That's a bit yikes. Temperature in the building isn't super high, but that's not necessarily a problem. Uh, I, I mean, if we have to if we have to build this, then we have to build this. But I was kind of hoping that, you know, because it's April, we'll, we'll be able to get away without a heating plant for a little while. Maybe that's just terrible, terrible thinking. We have one patient that's waiting for treatment. The sad reality is, is that we don't actually have anyone that's qualified to treat that person. Which is terrible. Oh, look. Plane's coming back. It's filled with tourists. It's filled with tourists. We have the capacity to deal with 1,500 tourists. I say we have the capacity. We don't have anywhere near the capacity to deal with 1,500 tourists. But we could. We could. If, if we needed to. We could. So if we got meat over here, we don't have meat yet, but we're waiting for the boat to arrive with uh, with additional meat. If I'm not mistaken. This boat should have pretty much everything on board, right? Yeah, look at that. 31 tons of food, 6.5 tons of alcohol, 23 tons of meat. That's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant indeed. Uh, so, yeah, we probably have made basically nothing if we look at tourism. Tourism spend, yeah, spending by Soviet tourist is is low is low. We're still outpacing. We're still outpacing the imported resources with yeah, tourism tourism spending doesn't doesn't get anywhere near uh where we need to be. Same with same with western currency as well. We 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 aren't getting enough dollars quite yet, but uh but we will. We will. Don't you worry. Temperature and building is too low. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build this. We're going to rush build that and then we're going to get a whole bunch of buses. Cuz again, it's very, very important. Uh, how many? A minibus, maybe? A couple of minibuses? I actually, yeah, we'll get a couple of microbuses. We can get two things of these. So we're gonna get 12 microbuses here. They're cheaper and also they drive faster, and it's quite important that we have that. We're gonna basically just have a direct, a direct system of deliveries to get people to the freaking heating plant so that we can start bumping up the amount of heat that we have in uh, in Disneylandovsk ASAP. It's very, very important that we do indeed get that up and running. Uh, we will only allow... only allow workers. And nobody with a higher education, actually. People with a higher education need to be prioritized for working at the... Uh, for working at the clinic. Working at the clinic in Disneylandovsk. Okay. Copy. Paste, 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 paste. Brilliant. Okay. And we're probably just going to want to buy some more buses that do exactly the same thing. But that is that is fine. Okay, sport as well and and the hospital. Yeah, okay, we've got doctors now. We've got doctors. The the temperature in the building is still chronically low though, so that's a bit of a problem. Also, this airplane is is very good and all that, but I suspect that we're probably going to want to get better, better aircraft. This this aircraft might be kind of cool. Let's let's stick with the let's stick with the the tiddly ones for now. We'll stick with the we'll stick with the small ones, just because they're cheaper to run, and also I'm a little bit scared of actually just bumping 
just bumping up to larger aircraft. But it'll no doubt happen, and it'll probably happen in the next episode, to be honest. It'll probably happen in the next episode. We're going to need to get better taxiway set up. I mean, that's, that's definitely something that we're going to need to do. It's going to need to be done uh, probably as a priority, but we'll deal with that later. Let's get some more microbuses. Let's get some more freaking microbuses. That's right. It's a Latvian microbus. Good stuff. Excellent. Okay. That's a whole bunch of microbuses, and that should theoretically mean... Should theoretically mean that we've got the ability to... Let's import... Yeah, we'll import some coal. Delivery's uh, a bit of a kicker, actually, but uh, it's fine. What up? Runway or taxiway is engaged by another... Another airplane. Yeah, we do have a ridiculously long taxiway. Uh, we should have more entrance points. So why don't we zone those at least right now? It takes, it takes like 20 meters. Yeah, it takes 250 meters for this plane to land. So it's actually just taxiing all the way down this, uh, down this runway here. Let's not auto build this though, because this is not a priority to be honest. There we go. And then we just have this taxiway running uh, parallel with the runway for a little bit. And that's totally fine. Yeah, fine. Not the end of the world, is it? Not the end of the world at all. Right, loads and loads of doctors. That's looking good. Sports, yes. And some guests without service as well. Look at this, 25. To We're maxing this out. We're maxing this out. This is this is excellent. Okay, electronics, church, place of spirituality, uh, or culture. Okay, turns out I didn't know that tourists actually needed food. I thought that the tourists got food in the hotels. I guess they, they want to experience a little bit of local culture. If that's the case, I'm, I'm happy to provide a, a small little shopping center, perhaps in the vicinity behind behind the uh, the shop here. The, behind the shop, what am I talking about? Behind the hotel. Let's do... Hmm, that might not be possible. Let's do something like this. We'll do something like this, okay. Nice. Yoink that down there. Then we'll yoink down a small shopping center over here. We just need to make sure that there is a walk route between the two areas, which I think it should be. I think that should be completely fine. And we're going to want to throw down a modded sports center as well, or a sports playground, just to ensure that there is just that little bit of uh, extra access to sport. Get a little bit tight over here. There is a strong desire, at least, to, to keep this area. Uh, as empty as possible until we get until we get the tracks in place. But I mean, if we if we have to build a sports center or, or the occasional the occasional other other thing, then that's not a problem uh, at all. Right? Where's the walk route? Where's the walk route here? This is going to be a nasty, nasty walk route. Actually, it's possible though. It's possible. It's not, a, it's not an issue for the tourists, because the tourists are able to just come down straight over here. Connect up to there. Connect up there. Connect up over there. And that, that will be, that will be fine. Uh, it's an access, it's an access issue for the workers. I wonder if maybe just throwing something like that over there would be, would be acceptable. Yeah, that's actually totally fine. Okay, so we're just going to have them walk down the road to get to the shopping center. All right, great. Uh, shopping center down, and also the gymnasium down as well. That's, that's pretty wonderful. That is pretty darn wonderful, if you ask me. Uh, okay, so, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. The tourists are a little bit... You know, there's a little bit of apprehension here. I appreciate that. It's taken a little bit of time to get everything up and running. Electronics as well. They should be able to get electronics. We've got, I mean, we've got absolutely everything that anyone could want. Uh, we will supply this area with local food. Building needs a road connection. Did it not auto-build a road connection? I could have sworn that it auto-build a road connection there. Very strange. Uh, it definitely showed me that it was going to auto-zone or auto-build a road connection. There we go. Just get all of that connected up. That's, uh, that's completely fine. Right, do we have enough workers coming into Disneyland Ovsk? We need a lot of workers, don't get me wrong. Turistovsky, Turiskovsky, we need we need a lot of we need a lot of things to go right. We need a lot of things to go right. But you know what? 
when we get there, we'll get there. Are we actually... Look at that. Look at... We, we made money just for a, a brief moment there. Or at least we didn't lose as much money as we're usually used to losing. Okay. Lots and lots and lots and lots of tourists coming in here, by the way. Building temperatures still too low. Still too low, I know. But we're going to get these... We're going to get these buses in place ever so... Ever so soon. Let me just let me just build that. Let me just auto build the the small aggregate storage. I know that I've 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 blown through a frankly ridiculous a frankly ridiculous amount of uh, of cash over the course of this episode, but that's completely fine. That's completely fine. Medium distribution office. Let's get this medium distribution office added to here. Great. Less than eighty percent. Of course, coal. I suspect that that's immediately going to trigger a mass dumper to, to get to work. There we go. And that's going to mean that by the time that winter rolls around, which is quite far away at this point, uh, we're going to be able to we're going to be able to make sure that we, we have an appropriate level of heating. Okay, eight workers coming through to the heating plant. I don't think that we have a heat connection capacity issue. No, indeed, this heat exchanger can actually deal with a, a bunch of additional a bunch of additional demands. That is exactly what we like to see. This is looking great. This is looking really, really good. Okay, how many tourists have died? How many tourists have died? I'd like to I'd like to find out exactly how many tourists have died. Also, some tourists can't get meat or food? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's plenty. Uh, the one thing that maybe we need to we need to sort out is is sports, but there's plenty of culture to be enjoyed around here. And I tell you what, let's let's also just build Let's also just build uh, a pub. We'll build a pub. Sure, we can build a pub right over here. Excellent. We'll get that down. Again, video game, you showed me that you were going to build a road connection, and then you didn't build a road connection. How nefarious. Uh, and then let's also get down... Let's get down a... Might want to get a couple of playground types, but that's fine. We'll definitely need to get a fire station, but in classic orbital potato fashion, I'm probably just going to wait until something actually catches on fire in this vicinity before, before actively sorting that out. Uh, the other thing that I was going to throw down was a cinema. Do I want to throw down a large cinema? Uh, I guess I kind of want to throw down a large cinema. But I think for now we should throw down a small cinema just because of the wire placement. I don't really want to change it around, at least not for now. Uh, besides, I think, you know, a small, a small cinema is a little bit more exclusive, right? We can pitch it as a... We can pitch it as an exclusive sort of event. Build that. Build the pub. Wonderful. Okay, so we've still got the the view cafe slash bar that we need to that we need to build. But apart from that, everything everything is fine. Everything is fine. We have got a significant number of tourists here. We actually legitimately do have a significant number of tourists, and that's kind of great. That is kind of great. Kind of delighted to see that happening. We've got a serious number of workers in the heating plant. Everyone should be hot. We're going to charge up our hot water tanks. Everyone's got alcohol. Everyone's got foods. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We are making money from tourists. Kind of. In rubles. Not in... Not in... Not in dollars, though. Not in dollars. Not nearly in dollars. This is incredible. Look at that. Okay. Import of resources is increasing, but so is tourism spending. So is tourism spending. We're actually doing it. We're actually, actually, actually doing it. Okay, this is great. It means that we are now able to sort of modulate the number of, uh, of tourists that we have coming in from the West and also uh, and also the, the other Soviet countries. And by doing that, we should be able to offset all of our losses. This is the moment, folks. This is actually the moment. I know that we still need to repay a, you know, a, a, two, million, a 2 million ruble loan and a $400,000 loan. But we're getting there. We're getting there, and oh, it is oh so exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, comrades, it's been, it's been good. It's been real. It's been crazy. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful festive season. Uh, thank you very much for all of the support that everyone has shown me over the past year. It has been... It has been terrific. It really has been. Uh, and I hope that we're going to have an even better 2021. But for now, have a wonderful festive season. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you as ever to the fantastic Patreon supporters. Patreon.com forward slash open potato. Aurelio C. Senpai. And banana nanana. $25 plus tier patrons. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.